Hey everybody, welcome to Know Your PC, I'm Bob. And I'm Malou, and today we're gonna to show you how to perform a recovery on your computer, and we'll demonstrate that with the HP TouchSmart PC, this beautiful IQ500 series. Now this recovery process will also work with any HP desktop that's pre-installed with Windows Vista. All right, so why would you wanna perform a recovery? Good question. Okay, so if you've added any files that maybe have corrupted your computer, maybe some viruses, or maybe you added some things that you don't want anymore and you wanna take it back to where it was when you first bought it, a recovery will help you take your computer right back to the way it was out of the box. Now, this is a last resort, okay? So make sure that you try other options, which we can show you in another segment before going all the way to the full system recovery. So, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the factory image. So I'm gonna press start and I'm gonna to go to computer, and you'll see it says factory image. Now this is a partition in your hard drive. You will be able to recover your computer back to this factory image, which again, as Malou said, it's just like if you take it out of the box and start it up for the first time. For some reason, maybe that image gets corrupted, which can happen, we'd recommend getting recovery disks. Now you can create them, which we created in another segment, or you can buy them from hp.com. So you're showing us the partition because we're gonna show you how to recover. That's right your system through that factory image. So before you get started, make sure that everything is unplugged, all the peripherals, you wanna make sure the scanner is not plugged in, okay. or any external hard drives or a printer, so let's start with that. So I'm gonna unplug our external hard drive and our printer. Just an important reminder that a full system recovery will delete all the files, all the programs, documents that you added to your computer after you bought it. So make sure that you back everything up before you do this. A in detail written description of what we're performing is in our limited warranty guide for the HP TouchSmart and your troubleshooting and maintenance guide for HP Desktop. So if you wanna read more about what we're talking about, you can get them in these manuals. Now there are a few ways that you can perform a system recovery. One way we showed in another segment was to create recovery disks and you recover from these disks. You can create them yourself or you can also get them from hp.com. If you're going to recover from the disks, make sure that your computer is on, insert your disk into the drive, restart your computer, and when the computer starts up, it'll go right into your recovery wizard and follow those steps. Two other ways that you can launch the system recovery manager. First, I will show you one with the computer being on as you see right here. Okay, so I'm going to touch the Windows icon in the left corner here. From there, I will go to All Programs, PC Help and Tools. Then you will see Recovery Manager, okay? So there, I will touch Recovery Manager. It's asking my permission to continue. I will click Continue. Permission granted. Thank you, Bob. Then we see Welcome to the Recovery Manager. All right, so on the screen, there's a button here that says Advanced Options. Look at the list right there of the advanced options. There might be something in there that you wanna try that you maybe haven't tried before that will fix your problem. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take you back to the recovery here. So I'm gonna take you to the wizard. Just wanted to show you Advanced Options. Welcome to the Recovery Manager. From there, we will touch Next. Then it's gonna ask you a series of questions, okay? So the first one right here says, reinstall software programs that came with your computer. No, we do not wanna do that. <laughs> no, we don't wanna do that, so I'm going to touch no. Then you touch next. Next question says, reinstall hardware drivers that came with your computer. No, we don't wanna do that either. We don't wanna do that either. Okay, so I'm going to touch next. All right, the next question here says, Microsoft System Restore. Now, this is important. It means, do you wanna go back in time to an earlier point which your computer saved and try and start running your computer from that point? We don't wanna do that. Yeah, we want to recover, That's so it's right. completely different. So we're gonna say no. This is the screen that we are looking for. It says, recover your computer to its original factory condition. I'm going to touch yes. That's exactly what I wanna do. So I'm going to touch yes, and then I would touch next. But I'm not gonna do it here because Bob's gonna show you another way to launch the recovery manager. That's right, so I will cancel out of this. Now, let's say that your computer turns on, you get an image, but it will not launch into your Windows homepage. Okay, so you can't press start, there's none of this stuff going on, so you can't do what Malou just showed you. It's a different challenge for it's you, Bob. It's a different challenge. I'm gonna restart the computer to pretend like we're turning the computer on and we can't get to where we wanna go. So I'm gonna press start, and I'm gonna go to the arrow key right, and I'm gonna press restart, all right. And so maybe this is what you're seeing for the first time, right? Yeah, so it'll, be, it'll turn on, there'll be this blue screen that says HP, and it really doesn't do anything else after that. So, get your finger ready, because you're gonna need to press F11, the F11 key on your keyboard, and you're gonna need to press it repeatedly once this blue HP sign comes on. Well, here we go, keep pressing F11. So I'm pressing F11, it says right here, system recovery, that's where we wanna go. And again, this is if you can't get to the system recovery the way Malou showed you because you don't have access to your Windows. Again, we'll take another chance to say, back up all your files. Do not do a system recovery without backing up all your files. We'll stop pressing F11 when the page comes up that says Recovery Manager. We're almost there. Oh, here we go. 
It says Recovery Manager. Welcome to the Recovery Manager. Looks a lot like the thing that Malou just showed you. You'll see also down here in Advanced Options, let me, wait a second. Touch is not enabled on this screen. You have to use the mouse, click on the mouse, and there's fewer options in the Advanced Options button. One of them is pretty key though. It says Microsoft Startup Repair Tool. Maybe your computer is fine, but something's wrong with trying to get it started up. So if you click that, try and repair that startup issue. If that doesn't work, full system recovery. I will get back to the wizard by pressing back and then I will go to next. All right, it's gonna ask me about the Microsoft System Restore. Again, that's going back in time to an earlier point in the computer. We don't wanna do that. We're gonna restart the whole thing. So I will press no, I would not like to do that. I wanna see other options. Next, it says system recovery. Do you wanna do a system recovery? Yes, and I will click next. And then again, it says back up all your files first, recommended or recover without backing up your files. We already did that, but you guys, again, make sure you back up all your files. So then I will push recover without backing up your files, and then you click next. Now, this will take about 15 minutes, so you're gonna to wanna to stick around. You don't need to go and go shopping or something like that. <laughs> and make sure you don't touch the computer at all. Don't turn it off, leave it on. So we will see you after we fast forward through this segment, and we'll come back and show you what happens afterwards. Okay, now we're done. It says recovery is complete. Click on finish, and you're back to where you started when you got your computer right out of the box. I love everything all fresh and clean and new. That also means you have to go back through your startup pages again, get all your settings back the way you had them, make sure you get your antivirus software reinstalled, make sure you put back any programs that you might have downloaded or have on disks, and of course, put all them crazy files back on, your music, your pictures, have fun, get your computer back up and running to its original place. Hopefully you'll never have to perform a recovery, but if you do, now you know. And if you have any questions, just log on to our website at hp.com slash support. Or you can watch more of our videos at youtube.com slash touchsmart. Thanks again for watching. I'm Bob. And I'm Malou. We'll see you next time.